Today we are in the 2021 E-Class and I'll be showing you how to operate Apple CarPlay. We will begin first by showing you how to actually connect it to the car, then how to operate it utilizing the touchscreen and touch controls found in the new E-Class. Okay, so getting started, in order to connect our phone to the car, we will need a cable. And this cable you probably have, which looks like this. It is lightning to USB. Now, if you have the USB like this, where it is like a rectangle, you'll want to get an adapter. And it looks similar to this, where basically this piece here plugs into the top piece of this, and then you plug this port, the USB-C, into the car. Now, you may also have a USB-C over here to lightning cable, in which case you wouldn't need this adapter. We are going to plug the adapter into the center console of the vehicle near the cup holders. Once we have done this, we will then plug our cable into the adapter and then plug the lightning cable into our phone. Once we have connected the cable to the phone, we will be prompted to unlock our phone and then we will click accept and start on the screen itself of the Mercedes and click allow on our phone in order to make sure that when our screen is locked, the CarPlay continues to work. Now that we are connected to the car, this is Apple CarPlay. And as you can see, we are currently on what they call the home screen, where we have our current location on the map. We can press one button and take us home, and then what media station we're listening to. On the bottom left, this takes you home or to multiple apps. And then you can see what recently we have pressed on, such as settings, now playing, maps, and then moving up, we have internet connection and time. We will press the home button and it'll bring us to where we have the rest of our apps, such as phone, music, maps, messages, now playing, Mercedes, podcast news, audiobooks, calendar, settings, Audible, Fox News, Google Maps, Pandora, and Spotify. Those are the apps that I have on my phone itself. One thing to note is not all apps on your phone will display on Apple CarPlay that is decided by Apple themselves. So if we just quickly go into each one of these, we have phone where we can dial numbers, look at contacts, recent calls, favorites that we may have on our phone, listen to voicemails. If we press this button to go back home, we have music where we can listen to different stations or radio that we have on our phone here, such as this radio, top picks, library of the music that you currently have on your phone, maps, where you can enter or search in destinations such as McDonald's or Costco or enter in physical addresses. Moving on, we have messages there where basically that will show you what people have texted you. So when you press on that, you'll be able to select their name. It will read the message to you and you can also audibly respond back to it to text people. You have what you currently are playing. Mercedes, which brings you to this screen here where it looks like the Mercedes-Benz hen unit that you're probably very familiar with. You press Apple CarPlay up here, brings you right back in. Podcasts themselves, if you have that on your phone. News, audiobooks or Audible, which I tend to use Audible more. Calendar, settings where you can adjust like appearance, do not disturb while driving, wallpapers, suggestions, things of that nature. You have news channels, Google Maps, as well as Waze, which I don't have Waze on here, but Waze does uh, work on this as well. You have Pandora and Spotify for other media options as well for listening. If we press this button, it'll bring us right back. And this is what Apple CarPlay looks like. So located right here, we have an up, down, left, right, OK arrow. And when we run our finger over that, we can actually control this screen over here. So we can go left, right, up and down to control it. We can also go down here. And down here, we can also go forward, backwards, left and right to operate this screen as well. As you can see, Apple CarPlay is very useful. Not only can you send text messages, make phone calls, and also use maps such as Apple Maps, Google Maps and Waze to find locations, you can also do much more. So today's video basically was just to show you how to connect to the car and also how it looks and how to operate it. Not too much as a tutorial on how to actually work each individual section, such as putting in destinations or configuring anything there. If you'd like to see that video, please comment down below. Like if you found this video interesting, and of course, subscribe to be notified when future videos like this are released.